I always start with my drink in my hand. Mm, I bet. What the fuck was that? What? That attitude. Mm, I bet. Because you went, I always start with this. So, valley girl. Okay. Anyway. I fucking hate the you. visor off. <laughs> That's funny, actually. Um, should we tell them? What happened? That this is the last episode. Oh. For last. two weeks? Only for two weeks, guys. I mean, Relax. maybe three. Yeah, no, maybe three. Um, this is the last episode. We're taking a little bit of a break for Christmas and the holiday season. For those of you who don't know, Sam does Vlogmas, which is posting every single day on YouTube, but she's also doing it on TikTok this year. Which is kind of crazy. We're kind of dipping our toes in a little too deep. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crack all into that, so don't worry. But the break we- is actually because I you guys have been commenting it a lot. That you can tell we don't like each other. Yeah. So. Uh, and. Therapy. I've decided that I need to take some time to like evaluate if I can be around you all the time. I just. We used to only ever see each other like twice a year. Yeah. And having to see you every week for the past like four months has just really set me into like a dark place, I think. No, and I know. And for me, the issue is like no matter how far away I go, I'm still around you. But it kind of might be a you issue. It might be, maybe we're just not compatible. I mean, I've really <laughs> that been was so mean. <laughs> I've been reading the comments, and people just seem to think that like you hate me. And honestly, it's opened my eyes to see how fucking mean you are. Yeah. And yeah. no, I am. I think we should break up and not be friends anymore. Yeah, and then like come back in two weeks, right? <laughs> <laughs> we can just so we can clickbait that yeah, it's right, over. Right. The podcast is over for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but hello yeah you guys get the vibe okay we're just taking a little break sam's doing vlogmas i'm her editor we're both going to be extremely busy we traveling don't have time. and that's that um we're gonna get into the vlogmas and all that but whatever if you're looking at this screen with your eyeballs right now we're wearing christmas pajamas yeah we're pretty festive we have these pillows have you ever had christmas pajamas like do you is that your vibe or no yeah uh w- onesies 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 Although, okay. You think onesies are actually comfortable? Here's the thing. And I don't know why. And everybody, do not come up with your theories like, oh, because like you couldn't unzip it. No, 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 no. There was something about it. Every time I wore a onesie when I was young, I would pee in my bed. I don't know that we've made it through three episodes without starting it about secretions. Okay. okay. We just secrete a lot. It's fine. Ew. Everyone secretes. Like a snail. Ew. <laughs> That's no, you like a snail. No, onesies aren't comfortable. Everyone always is like, oh, let me get this cute little Christmas onesie and I'll wear it for a bit, like just for like a video or like to film a vlog intro or something. But could you sleep in a onesie? Oh, I no like wonder why you'd piss your pants. Well, no, when they're baggy, yeah, they're, they're really comfortable. Okay, I, my first problem, I've never been able to find one that's baggy. You, <laughs> what? Nothing. Um, what was that? You know, that's not you, soldier boy. Oh, but wh- how is that relevant? Because I was like, that's you. Oh, like just a me problem? Yeah. Yeah. But it's not because. It's just a big I, fupa problem. I was also four years old. So oh. now I don't think I could fit oh. my left leg into a onesie. But like as an adult, you weren't wearing a onesie to go to sleep. Like your feet covered and shit. Yeah, but you, you know what? You're a whole crock of bullshit. You you do the whole, oh, I'm, I'm overweight, blah, blah, blah. Because you could easily fit in a onesie. They're one piece. So do you like, know how many times I've tried to get a onesie that fits properly and isn't tied on my fupa? That... That no, I, I think I think a big, cause they're one piece, so like it's like an accordion, like you squeeze it down low, your fupa can, has room, like it's not like pants. People underestimate my fupa. I have inspected your fupa up no. and down. Wait, but people just assume like, oh, you'll fit like the hold of a piece of pants, piece of pants, the hold of a pair of pants, and they're like, yeah, that'll fit, like that's good, like and they'll mean so nicely by it. Like I went shopping with, um, when I went and got my hair done by Bragan Beauty, um. She, we went shopping at the mall the next day and we went to American Eagle. No, not American Eagle. Uh, what's the other one that starts with an A? Abercrombie. Abercrombie. Yes, thank you. That was very helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, we went in there and she picked out all these clothes for me and I kept like, I was sitting, well, first of all, we had just met, so I was a little insecure, maybe. I don't know how to explain to skinny people sometimes that it's not going to fit <laughs> oh no i know like she's being nice like she is assuming which i don't really know i guess but she was sweet so she was just assuming it would fit me based on like maybe how it looks i've never seen myself from outside of my body but when i look in the mirror it's large and in charge okay so like i don't 
Like, I'm looking at that shirt. I know it won't fit. But maybe that's just because I put it on a million times. Or, like, the jeans. Like, she'd hold up these pair of jeans. Yeah, go take it. And I went to the fitting room to try it all on because I don't have the heart to, like, be like, oh, n- n- that's not going to work because I'm just embarrassed. And none of it fit. And yeah. she just kept was like, okay, like, come show me. And I'm like, the pants are split open no, wide. And I have to, like, try and hide the seam that I just ripped. Your pussy lips are, like, hanging out. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, guys. But... <laughs> Where did we start that? Why did we start talking about that? I don't know, but let's keep the ball rolling because... Well, I don't know how to finish, like, land the plane of the thought. Because I don't know what the thought was. Th- that plane was all over the place. That was like a UFO, you know, when they, like... Yeah. Go zigzag all over the place. Oh! People assume, I think, or don't realize the amount of space your body actually takes up. Clothing, circumference-wise, like, clothing. Yeah. Because I'll look at something even. I definitely have a little bit of, like, body dysmorphia in the sense that, like, I think I'm skinnier than I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> the opposite. Yes. Because I'll be like, oh, yeah, that'll definitely fit. And then I I get it home, and I am so beyond humbled when I, like, can't... The, the Hawaii t-shirt. That's what I'm thinking of. It, like, guys, no, let me tell them. Uh-huh. Guys, Sam filled a TikTok, like, last month. She ordered, like, this... It was, it's called, like, a cute baby tee or something, but it's, like for an adult but not this adult mm. i didn't know that though okay, you guys well i was bold i ordered an extra large no 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 no. yeah it was an extra large but it would seriously seriously perfectly fit a four-year-old that's insert a pick oh yeah yeah like it would <laughs> seriously fit a four-year-old yeah and this girl really thought it was good well well you did put it on i mean it i mean it did i don't know that i would say put it on i put it over the top quarter of my body yeah, it was like so tight that like i was it was embarrassing it I, was wearing you yes that's very true but yeah i say, i guess we say all about to say that I i'm say, fatter than you actually think i want to say one thing okay everybody before everyone which i know you guys already commented like whatever i'm rolling my eyes <laughs> <laughs> i make fat jokes to samantha and sam makes them to me just as much just not on camera why because she is a coward oh fuck she off she is afraid i'm not afraid she sends me pictures of walruses every day and tells me it's me. And you know what? We think it's funny. You might think it's funny. We think it's funny. I think it's just how we cope. Yeah, it's how we cope. Yeah, it's just and us. It, it, it's, we both very much had the same struggles. So we make jokes about it with each other. So if, before you guys are like, oh, they hate each other. Andrew's so mean to her. She's so mean to Andrew. Blah, blah. Shut up. Or they're just telling me what I can't see with my own two eyes. Right. Although... You did delete a comment before I could read it, and you said it was really fucking mean. To be honest, I delete quite a few comments. Oh, wait, did we get a lot of mean ones? Not a lot, no. But, like, the ones that are, like... Damn it, I gotta be quicker, because I want to see. Yeah, but also, like, I want to be like, oh, I want I want you to look at the podcast of ro- rose-colored glasses. Because, like, any, like, one, one comment can make you be like, pack I'm it I'm over up. it. We're done. Yeah, we're done for good. And here you are getting up. Well, it, this is the problem. Oh. I'm ditching it. My ass is too fat to sit where I need to sit right now. Yeah, but <laughs> P-H-A-T. For the men, and say that I have a fat ass, P-H-A-T, and they are going to rip me to shreds. Try it. Men thinking you're overweight is just crazy because you are just slim thick. <laughs> 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 Add that to that teaser and post it. <laughs> People are going to oh. tear me apart. Okay, someone just commented on that. My, like... Well, what's slim thick? A lot of... I don't know what it is. Like, my um, Adriana post... Yeah. Has been, like, going, like... When I say viral, I mean, I got, like, five of these comments. But, like, vi- viral with the haters. Viral for you. Someone commented on my picture of Adriana. Like, the sad one. Like, I don't even have words right now. Whatever. Go blank yourself faggot or i will shoot your parents yeah. and i said that, did they read what the post was about yeah oh yeah yeah um because other people were commenting like uh, she did it because she had a gay cousin like you know she no, did it because yes who i don't but like do do i do i care no that's crazy yeah it, it, i and i got like dms like people saying like that stuff like yeah, she did it because her cousin was a faggot. Or like, because you're a faggot, blah, blah, blah. Are people still that, like, yeah. fucked up? You know, I am, um, I, I kind of, I knew people were still fat phobic and stuff like that because. People will I, always be fat phobic. Yeah, but I honestly haven't. What was that noise if we're talking about Adriana? The freezer just opened. The freezer did just open. <laughs> I you are fuck. Anytime we talk about her, so much happens. You guys, the freezer just 
popped open. It's one of the drawer freezers. There's no, it's not packed at all. It just pushed open, like open, open. That's weird. Okay. Remember the vacuum cleaner, the cord? Yes. We were talking about it like last week at, or the last time we filmed at some point and the, my vacuum was sitting in the corner and what, did it happen during the podcast? No. The, it was to happen while we were trying to talk to psychics. Oh, we called psychics. About Adriana, yeah. But the, the cord was like wrapped over top of the vacuum cleaner and it fell off. What is happening? It, is my cat in the freezer? I hope not, Sam. Go check. I can't. Mom! Sam. Did she go in there? It wasn't close. It wasn't open. Sam, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? There's, the cats are in there. I think you, a cat's in the freezer, Mama could Kelly. Could you close the freezer, please? What? No, check it first. Yeah, maybe check it first, yeah. Is there a cat in there? No cats. Oh, okay. I mean, if anything, it would just go into cryo sleep, and we can de and it'll wake up later. I don't remember exactly where we left off, but... I do need to tell you something else very traumatic that happened to oh, me this no. week. Okay. I mean, you have experienced enough trauma for oh, this a lifetime. Is, this is by far the most traumatic. The most? The most. Okay. I went to the doctor because I have to go every three months for my Adderall. Okay. And I got there. And my last doctor, I left because I hated him. He was old. He was nasty. I would literally go because I'd be having a stroke and he would be like, well, you're fat. Well, that kind of goes. Ugh, like that is so, but pisses me off. I would go in because like my wrist would hurt. Like uh-huh. I, I had like this thing here and he'd be like, well, you need to lose weight. And I'm like, well, I'm simply not walking on my hands. So I get what you're saying. With this. It, I, I just hated him. He was nasty. He misdiagnosed my grandma and that's why she's immobile now. Like, and like not doing well. So I found a new doctor and I love them. They genuinely care. They'll call me and they'll be like, you need these vitamins. Are you taking them? Like, I love them. And like the PAs, I think that's what they're called. They're like middle-aged women. They're so sweet. I love them all. And that's what makes this 10 times worse. Oh no. Okay. I go in there. They call me in the back. What's the first thing they got to do? Ugh. Weigh you. Yes. I got to get on the scale. Right. So I'm doing everything. I'm taking off my shoes. I'm stripping. I'm the only time I'd be naked in public. I'm inhaling as much air as I can because it's like it's helium. I feel like it's going to make me like float. My brain doesn't make me heavier. I'm going to exhale as much as I can. No, no. It makes you light. It takes like a pound off when you inhale because it makes you like it's like helium. Like you. I'm going to use that as my excuse for why I like am heavier after I eat McDonald's versus before. You. I. You're I was just exhaling. Era. Yeah, okay. You got to give it like a second and you'll okay. be in your inhale era. That's actually a really good excuse. I'm going to use yeah. that. So anyway, I'm inhaling, I'm, you know, whatever. I step on the scale. And you guys know it's one of the like old school scales, which just get a fucking yeah. digital scale. That's stupid. Uh, anyway, so they're doing the thing and I'm just chilling. You know, I'm sitting there and I hear, huh? <gasps> If someone ever gasped after I stepped on a scale, I would just have like signed my right. death certificate but myself. Her gasp wasn't about me, right? No, couldn't have been. No way. And she was so sweet. I loved her. So I was like, oh, well, she's getting, you know, maybe she looked at the time. Why else would she gasp? Well. Oh, looked at the time. I yeah, okay. you know, you, anything. And I hear her go, no, that, no, that, that can't be right. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, maybe, again, time. Maybe it's, it's a little later than she thought, Mr. Lunch Break. So I'm, I'm sitting there, and she leans around the corner, like by the front, like looking at the front desk, and she goes, Guys, is this scale broken? <gasps> and not in a condescending way. That's what's so sad. Like, she meant this from her heart. And like a child. Like, she was concerned. And I was like, because last time I went there, I was like 30 pounds lighter. And it was like a few months ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Sorry, I'm in shock a little. Yeah. I'm like thinking about what my brain would say to me during that. Like, if that was me. But you know, like, these things have happened to me my whole life. Yeah. Like, so I'm so used does, to it. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, okay, it's a story now. So she goes, she leans, she goes, is this scale broken? I go, okay, I'm that skinny. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. You're, um, that's yeah. very innocent of your brain. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm like, to I'm, just assume the best. I was like, really? That's skinny? Wow. So that's growth. So I'm standing there and. <laughs> I hear this this woman from her whole chest, her whole heart, which makes it worse, say, you do not look like you weigh that much. <laughs> I've gasped like three times, but <laughs> oh my gosh, I could cry thinking about that. I froze. I <laughs> honestly, and she was so sweet. Like, I didn't feel hate. I didn't get mad because she, she really meant it. That's like a kid. But that's what made it worse. Yes. So I was just like. 
no, like that that number seems right for right now. Like, and she was like, you really just don't look like you weigh that much. And as she was saying it again, she realized like how the awful it sounded. Fuck that sounds. And she was like, no, I, I don't mean it like that. She's like, I'm just saying you look like a lot skinnier. And I was like, yeah. Hustle. And then I like, I was like, well, like my cousin just passed away and I've been grieve eating. And she was just like, oh my god like i'm so sorry and she put me in the room she closed the door and imagine being her too like both sides didn't win in that situation No, she felt really bad she came back in and she apologized i was like no like it's fine and it really was fine because she she meant it for like it i felt like it was like a motherly figure like she really meant it as a compliment but she guessed oh, oh the gap yeah that, that would have been it for me i think I don't know that I already have bad health anxiety and like I have that fear of okay if I, every time I go to the doctor they're just gonna tell me to lose weight which I get you have to do like yes I need to lose weight but please pay attention to what else is wrong with me because there's an issue here and so to be going in with that fear already then to get gasped at as I step on a scale I wouldn't be back okay and then keep in mind like I'm down now like I'm down I'm trying to get back up right I'm trying to get back up and but down where you'll understand metaphorically oh I'm metaphorically down. okay i'm down i'm okay. trying to get back up i'm like she uh -huh. nice right the doctor comes in and i'm like oh like my friend is on manjaro now mm -hmm. and uh i was like i'm I, the friend what uh, for anyone i didn't know i'm the friend yeah you are the friend yeah I, I was talking about sam i was like oh my friend's on manjaro now like i just wish i could get it and she's like oh you can you qualify your bmi is like above the limit dead serious Th those were her exact words i i was steamrolled that day i was steamrolled into the ground you just couldn't win that day no no i could not win and you know what i said i'm fat again i'm <laughs> here again this is the confirmation i needed see but you answered the facetime the other day or really yesterday i don't know the days blur together you look so skinny and i will say i was just looking in the mirror i was like my face looks a little uh -huh. skinnier your but jaw is really good first of all everyone my skin my skin is purging right now so don't look at my acne but i caught him that word yeah you did hold on I just needed to throw that in there because uh, you teach me a lot of words and I've never taught you anything. Beneficiary, yeah. Okay, we don't have to talk about it. That people like really thought that was funny. Yeah. But I was so serious. If it's not beneficiary to you. But you're, I, you're not like, I, I think you're dumb as rocks, but like oh. your vocabulary isn't that bad. My vocabulary is awful. Every time I read a book, I have to highlight or like annotate at least 10 words on each page that I don't know what they mean. Oh my God. That's me. Anytime I'm talking to my other best friend, Stephanie. You guys, oh, she's my best smart. Friend. She's so smart. She uses words and I have to make believe. Now, Stephanie, I could, I could literally, I would say anything to Stephanie. The one thing I will not tell her is when I don't understand <laughs> what the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh no, yeah, like... Uh, what the fuck does that mean and literally it will be like on the phone and i'll be like googling the words and i'm like oh yeah yeah yeah. and then like five minutes later i'm like no yeah that point you made yeah uh-huh totally you're right but um so i i guess i'm not a good judgment of vocabulary but me either but you have a good one compared to me like what? i feel like i've learned a lot of words through you and this podcast through me there's at least one you guys can back me up here there's at least one or two words an episode where i have to either ask you what it means or i say something wrong and you correct me yeah and i will say though um just again because like i it just makes it not funny when i have to say like i don't actually think you're dumb as rocks because like how many things do i ask you about like oh like what should i title like you're so good at like i think a lot of people are smart in their own ways yeah I used to be super book smart, and then I, I don't think you were. dropped out of college. No, I was. You're not getting. I don't think you were. I was. No, I was different. But then again, like my brain is totally different now. I didn't have anxiety. I didn't have any issues. Wait, this is a good time for a segment. What segment? I made a segment that I've been wanting to do since before we started episode one, and you okay. know, Samantha Science, Samantha, Samantha Joe Science. Science. Okay. Okay. You want to give a little intro for Samantha Science? Um. S -s -s Samantha Joe Science. Oh, 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 just, oh. Just, I got a better one. I got a better Samantha one. Samantha Science. Okay, okay. I got, I got that. S -s -s Samantha Science. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hi, whoa, whoa. You do everything in the Nickelodeon. No. That's the Amanda so, show. I got, I'm picking different Nickelodeon shows. It's got to be Bill Nye. Sam, S Sam, no. Sam. Oh, oh. Science. No. That's Samantha what? Joe, the science ho. <gasps> That's a high five. That's a high five. Yes! I'm Sam so good at this. Samantha Joe, the science ho. Sam, Sam, Sam. We could do it without the shoulders, for sure. <laughs> no, but that helps get into it. Yeah. The momentum. Yeah. Well, 
Okay, so there's a few things in the last maybe year. <laughs> you have a, you have a bunch of stuff written down. Yeah, because I was like, this is too fucking stupid to not write in my phone. Like when I hate you, I could just look at this and be like, oh, I feel bad. <laughs> what do you mean? It's just it's so. I don't know. Like you feel bad as in like the same way that Duncan thinks when he brings me a toy and I don't throw it that that means I want a different one. So it's like, oh, no, it's like I f- I'm so mad at you. And I'm like, well, let me try to put myself in her dumb ass shoes. OK, that's not very nice. Yeah. But OK. OK, so the first one, the Internet. What about it? I would like to ask you because I know you don't remember. How did the Internet come about? I don't I think it's always been here and we just discovered it, you know. So like uh, it's it's natural. I mean, we named it something. So the internet was just like floating around the woods and we harnessed it? Yeah. Kind of like Bluetooth. Why elaborate? did you look at me like that? Well, elaborate on that. Like Bluetooth. Like the stuff for the internet and the stuff for Bluetooth, and it's always just been there. It's the air. It's the particles. The, We're just harnessing it. It's the air. Like satellite for internet, I think, right? The satellites now, learned how to harness the internet. Here's the gag, everybody. I'm dumb as rocks. I'm just like, her bag of rocks is a little bit heavier but, uh, in, cer- in certain, <laughs> in certain okay, aspects. I want you to explain Bluetooth to me then. Well, here's the thing, because I, I just had a, I, I had a Raven moment where th- there's going to be some scientist on here who's like, actually, Sam is right, and I'm going to look really stupid. And you know what? In that case, you can tell me I'm fucking well, stupid. I'm not saying Internet Explorer existed. We made that, right? Right. But there had, it travels through the air, no? Well, I feel like we made transmitters to send waves with different frequencies and information that could be but so that wrong. stuff was already there we just learned how to use it no no <laughs> no so like you think the you think like like a a wave and stuff's there yeah like a pumpkin gr- bread recipe was just floating around like in no, the woods we put it there but we learned that we're not talking about what's on the internet we're talking about the concept of it okay forget about anything on the internet let's just it's just the internet that was just floating around in the air? Particles? The ability to have it, yeah. Now, granted, I could be wrong and the internet might not be particles. Could be. <laughs> <It might> be. <laughs> <laughs> the internet might be, like, through wires and stuff. Is it? I don't... To be honest, I don't yeah, know. And that's me. why, like... Like, the bit is me saying, like, you're fucking stupid, but I don't know either. Like, we learned that we could, like, harness... I don't know. Because, like, they used to send... <laughs> Stuff through the ocean, you know? What are you going on about right now? I don't even know anymore. What do you mean they used to send stuff through the well, ocean? The Bluetooth is the air particles. All right, we're moving on to the next one because this is just... <laughs> help. Can Need someone... somebody help. I think it would... Be... Okay, you would make your argument 10% better if you left out the word particles. Because that's... Well, that's what it's using. It's that's harnessing like the stuff in the... Like the energy, you know? Okay, um, the next thing. Uh, when we were filming, I think it was episode one, or we were doing the photo shoot for the podcast. I was here, and I went to go put a Diet Coke can in the freezer. <laughs> and I, I, was like, cool. I was like, Sam, please remind me I put the Diet Coke in the freezer because I don't want it to freeze and explode. Because obviously, when liquid freezes, it explodes. You know, expands. it expands, and that would make the can explode, right? Only if there's room for it to do so. Okay, so it was. It can't explode if there's no room to explode. You guys, the can was in probably an area the size of like a shoebox, an empty area the size of a shoebox. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was, Sam. Uh, but even so. Maybe I just thought the freezer was fuller then. Sam, if for it to not have room to explode, I would have to like wedge it in there and like air vacuum it. She said, don't worry about it exploding because there's no room for it to explode. I thought it was like super full. That makes sense. If there's no room for it to explode, how is it going to explode? It won't. You can just leave it in there for a while. Okay. It might like push up against its neighbors and shit, but it's not going to explode. Like an ice cube might move. Maybe. Maybe like carbonation. Mm. I have two more things. Okay. You thought pickles came from the ocean. That is an honest mistake. She... Okay, but Go ahead, explain how this came about. Pickles. I was a really picky eater. My mom never made me eat anything. We ne- well, she did make me eat, but what? I didn't eat. Cut. Sorry. <laughs> no, leave that. <laughs> my brain wasn't working. She didn't make me eat anything other than ham sandwiches, 
with pickles. And then, okay, people would like make comments like, oh, she never eats vegetables, whatever. Didn't really know what those were because we never had them in the house. Like we never had fresh vegetables. Like I love you, Mama Kelly. We never had fresh vegetables. So when everyone would talk about where pickles come from, they come from cucumbers. The only cucumber I knew that existed was a sea cucumber. So I thought. From SpongeBob. Yes. This fact that you said the only cucumber I knew that existed. I didn't know that. Like that was something you could just eat as like a cucumber. So I thought that the vegetable of a cucumber grew in the ocean. I didn't realize a sea cucumber was an actual living like creature. So I didn't think when I was eating a pickle, I was eating like meat. I thought I was eating the vegetable and it just, like that's where they farmed it from was the ocean. That's where cucumbers were. Am I supposed to be like, oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that seems like honest, no? Like yeah. honest little mistake. Yeah. And I just thought I liked, like, I was like, oh, ha I always joke that I'm eating seafood. And she, told be- the, she told the server that the pickle was seafood. I will say it makes sense. Whenever I would, like, say that at home, like, when I was, like, young, everyone would be like, that's a cucumber. It's not seafood. Okay, so that, that's something you learn. Well, I just didn't, didn't learn. Okay. Well, uh, the last thing I want to talk about, um, I don't know how long of a topic this is going to be. It could just be quick. You are a flat earther now? Okay. I didn't, I'm not like for sure a flat earther now, but I always thought that their arguments were just like stupid. They are. They're not. Okay. I mean, they are like, I'm, I, the earth is probably round. Probably. I'm just not like 50, 50, maybe 75, 25, 75 being it's round. Right. Ferdinand Magellan. Huh? He would have fell off. No, it's deeper than that. The videos that I have found. Oh, it's kind of giving cult. Like I might've joined a cult now. But I'm not actually in it yet. But like, I'm just in the sign yeah. up process. <laughs> no, you, wait, the what? The sign up process. You're not actually doing anything. No, 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 so no. Stupid. No, I'm, oh. I'm joking. But the argument, I had never heard the arguments that I recently found of like the, I think it's called like the filament, like he keeps us in the dome. That, see, I don't know that word. That was and a I'm a, I'm a Christian, okay? And so I guess, I mean, none of this is probably true. It's, I saw this on TikTok, okay? But it was just video after video of people explaining like the like the filament and how we, we're in a dome and everything is actually like we're all surrounded by like the ice wall that is Antarctica and it like surrounds like everything and then we're in a dome because it like references the dome and the, the filament like it uses the word like in the Bible a lot and then if you like watch like rockets go up they never actually just like go up they all like curve and then like come back down like where you can't see them or like all the the reason that this got set off was because Elon just launched a rocket or something the other day, like a week ago, and it like exploded into the filament. And there's all these videos of them like trying to go through the dome, but, like never getting through, even though it's probably just like the rocket detaching. You know what I mean? That vibe. But they like deep dove into NASA and how all of these different companies like across the world, like different like organizations like that, all kind of discovered the filament at the same time like the dome at the same time and so now they're all here to protect the dome in just a couple sentences because i want you to keep your spot what's the filament the dome the dome like what keeps us in what protects us and so it's saying that like the sun and everything is in it right we're like we're all like in oh this is so and no no no. and above it is water that's why the sky is blue (laughs) why are you laughing i'm not I'm not saying I fully believe it. I just think that everyone just thought it was like quirky to be like, oh, ha, 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 where the earth is flat. But I didn't realize how deep that people like believed and like dove into these theories. You're probably also getting recommended um, mermaid videos too, right? Those aren't real. I've never seen a mermaid. But I've seen the filament. Or like there people have like really convincing like, like why do you think that rainbows are shaped the way they are? And like... Certain it's, it's the way light bends. Reflecting off of the dome. Oh, gosh. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Sam, Sam, <laughs> that there for Samantha Joe science. Sam, Sam, the science ham. No. Oh, wait. Sam, Joe, the science ho. Sam, Joe, the science ho. Sam, yeah. Sam, Sam, the smartest girl that you ever knew. No. The smartest person you'll ever know. All right. Well, At least I am a conversation I starter. would like to end this by saying I actually, uh, I on a real note, I do ask Sam for a lot of like advice and stuff. She is very smart in her own ways. And I am 
dumb as rocks in other ways. So before anyone That's gets any human, we have me and Sam have joy and a lot of fun in laughing at each other. I have a story, and I want to tell you because I want you to know how brave I am, brave and how like bold. Actually, no, I think I want to tell you because I know that if you were there, it would have made you so mad at me. At you? Yeah. Just because, so Andrew's like biggest thing that he hates about me is I'm going to get him killed from my road rage. Okay. I, I'm being, we're like showing my extra meanness this episode, but guys, I swear she's just as mean and we love each other. Ew. No, I'm, I'm just saying like, if you were there, you would have been just as mad as Gerald was. Oh, Gerald was mad at you. Yeah. Because I almost got him killed. Okay. Yeah. I, we've talked about this before, but when I'm with Sam, Oh, well, she has road rage. She always I has do road, have road rage. rage. And when I'm with her, she real she, you know, has her road rage and it just pisses me off cuz one, you shouldn't be doing that when you're alone. And number two, well, it's not like dangerous road rage. It's not like I'm not going to run my car into theirs. It's like I'm just bitching out loud. Yeah, but she'll like j- drive next to them, give them the finger and like not- I will not like drive up next to them. It's when they pass me, I'll give them the finger. Okay, whatever. But you give them the finger. It's dangerous. You don't know what crazy people are out there, what weapons they can have. Yeah, but at we least if Florida I die, now. I die. Or they die. No, 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 no. At least if I die, they know that they're an asshole before I go. Okay. Anyway, uh, the story? For Thanksgiving, we went to Gerald's family. Mm-hmm. And they live in the Atlanta area. So we went to his grandma's house. And we stayed at an Airbnb because Duncan's sick. And I just didn't want Duncan around other people, other dogs. Like I just right. didn't want to risk it. He has been around Piper, but that's just because he was around Piper when he got sick. So if she was going to get sick, she would have already gotten sick. But regardless, we are staying at an Airbnb. And to paint the picture, right? This Airbnb is a beautiful house. Right. A big house. And it has, it's kind of situated like on a hill. So it's kind of built like into the hill. And the top part is the majority of the house. And that's its own Airbnb. And then the basement has been completely renovated out to be a one bedroom, one bathroom. Really, I, I would even live in it. Nice okay. apartment. And so we, just because it was just me and Gerald, we rented out the bottom of the Airbnb. We didn't need the whole freaking place. So somebody else was renting the top. Keep okay. that in mind. So another tenant. Yes. We got to the Airbnb around six, maybe. And we dropped... Duncan and Piper off and all of our stuff off. The way you got to the Airbnb that we were staying at, like the bottom part that we had, was you drove down the driveway, which is steep. And there was a little garage and like a bunch of area you could park cars. So we didn't really think much of it. We dropped the dogs off. We then get back in our car and drive to Gerald's parents' house because he wanted to see his parents. He never gets to see them. We spent the night with them and we come back around like 11-ish. And we pull up to the Airbnb and there is a car parked at the very end of the driveway. So nobody could get in or down the driveway. They're just blocking it off. When they see other cars in the driveway. No, there is no other cars in the driveway. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, okay. But we immediately knew that it was the people that rented out the top part. Yeah. So like any other normal human being, Gerald walked up to the door to ask them if they could just move the car. Like, no, like we were annoyed. Like. Yeah. They just they might not have known that we were staying down there. Right. So Gerald knocks on the door. Keep in mind it is eleven. AM. PM. PM. Got it. So he knocks on the door and it's a glass door. They can see him. And we can see everyone's up. It's not like everyone was sleeping. We probably wouldn't have I don't know what we would have done. Like just parked on the road. I don't know. But we could see all of them sitting in there. Massive family. I couldn't see all of them at that point, but he could. And so he walks up. Knocks on the door. He's like looking at him, like making eye contact with like grandmas, kids, like <laughs> everybody's in there. And they're just staring back at him. No one would come to the door. And I noticed that was happening, but I couldn't see who was in the house Maybe, like, yet. At this point, they were like just scared. They didn't know who. Well, see, I was, I started to get protective very fast because I didn't know what the family in there looked like. I didn't know what their background, their ethnicity yeah. was. So I thought they just weren't coming to answer the door because Gerald was black. Yeah. And so I was starting to get a little mad. And then eventually, like some of the sons and the dad walked up to the door. I noticed that it, they were a black family. So I'm like, okay, they're not being prejudiced towards him. Yeah. So why aren't they? And he's like trying to like explain like, hey, could you like, you're trying to talk, but it's a glass door. Like, can you just like open oh, like the... like they wouldn't open the door? No. Okay. Not even like a pit, like a peep, like nothing. And so he's like, hey, like, like the car, like we're just like sitting down there. He's trying to like sign to these people what we need. And they walk away from the door. 
they don't like say anything to him and so then I got out of the car and stood up like so they could like and I was looking at them through the glass door but I'm all the way by the road yeah and they come to the door now they'll open it oh. and he starts yelling at Gerald the dad mind you he's probably like six three 320 pounds maybe but he was a bigger guy right and he is telling Gerald that the audacity that we have to think that they would answer the door for us. Like they should be, we should be so grateful for them that they're even willing to come out and speak to us. We should have called the Airbnb people to have the Airbnb people call them to tell them that somebody is staying down there. It was like our responsibility to find a way to let them know that we were down there. That's not our problem on the door and telling them. Correct. Cause that was so fucking wrong of us. Now, if he would have walked out and been like, Oh, sorry. We were a little spooked. Like it was, it's late. Yeah. We'd be like, okay, we get it. Yeah, but like, hey, like, but we're we're just staying down there. Just like you're staying up there, we're just staying down there. We just want to park the car. Like we just want somewhere to park. And instead, he's throwing a hissy fit. Like he's being a child, and his kids felt so bad. They were like embarrassed. Oh, really? The kids were like, we're so sorry. Like we don't know. Like whatever. And so he's still screaming, making he ha- won't get in his car at this point to move his car. And Gerald told me to like get in the car because I was getting so mad. So what he was he was still just that man that you guys knocked. Yeah. Okay. That we, like, even had, like, the audacity to come to the door. And he's just telling Gerald that, like, we should have t- asked the Airbnb people to tell them that we needed them to move the car. Was he actually it's screaming? A- yes. It's 11 p.m. What I will say is the Airbnb people should have told them that somebody rented the bottom. Yeah. Like, every time that I've rented a Airbnb that has something else attached to it, they'll say, make sure, be careful where you park or watch your parking spots because that that parking spot is for like the yeah. chateau like for like the adjacent like place or whatever so you just know okay there's going to be other people on the property i need to hear the part where gerald's mad at you it gets better you did. it gets so much better well worse but better for you to hear and so gerald's talking to him i'm in the car at this point right i notice i mean he's just going over the same shit like you did this wrong whatever at this point we don't care move your car like now we realize you're not nice we're not gonna like fuck with you he does eventually get into his vehicle and he backs it up into the to the road gerald pulls in but doesn't pull all the way down he's like just like sitting on the incline and the man moves his car back in to park us back in to block you in yes to the driveway and so then at this point and there's another place where he could park right yes there's a whole bunch we could all pull down to the bottom of the driveway he there's a garage he could park in and gerald wasn't blocking the rest of the driveway for him to get down there no, okay. we only stopped because I, I didn't know that at the time I didn't, I just thought he was stopping because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that the guy pulled in and stopped. Okay. So he stopped because like, got it. we have to leave in the morning to spend Thanksgiving at his grandma's. So I pulled myself together. I said, there is nothing good that's going to come from this. If I handle this situation badly, like just be gracious and speak to him. Right. So Daryl's already telling me not to get out and talk to him as I reach for the handle and I open the door. And he's getting out of his car. I said, I'm really sorry. Like, I know this is all really inconvenient. Did you sound that nice? Yes. Okay. At this point. Got it. Oh, like, it's not nice. Got it. I know this is inconvenient, but like, we need to leave in the morning, like for Thanksgiving dinner. So like you parking there, we're not going to be able to leave. And he starts once again, like yelling at me, telling me that that's our fault for not telling the Airbnb people that they needed to tell them that we're coming. Like he just keeps going on this like you chain. Were there first. Well, even if like that's it's if anyone's frustrated, he kept telling us that we should be mad at the Airbnb yeah, people yeah. and not him, but we weren't mad at anybody. Like it's not that deep. Like we just want you to move the car so we can both be here. Yeah. He kept going on about how he rented the whole place. Like, or he rented the whole like top part and he's staying there and how expensive it was. I was like, okay, well I rented the bottom. So I was getting pissed and I was like, can I just talk? Like, I don't know why you're acting like this. It's like, unsensible was or insensible or just him his kids okay how old were they like te- like late teens maybe okay. like juniors sophomores in high school or they just looked older kids nowadays look so old and they're not yeah but they were mature enough to understand what was occurring and they were embarrassed by the way he was acting and he keeps saying like no 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 like i remember i'm like hey can i talk he's like oh, blah, blah, blah. and i'm like Gerald let you talk to him like you got your chance to have a word because he kept saying like well when's my turn to talk I'm like you haven't shut the fuck up but you didn't let Gerald say anything no there isn't just move your car yes and like don't block us in 
Like he thought he was like, well, you should just be grateful I let you in. That's like kind of the vibe he was like saying. And eventually as I'm going back and forth with him saying like, no, it's my turn to talk. You haven't just shut the fuck up for how long? Let me speak. He goes, fine, fine. Let's just see how this goes. I'll let you have the floor and like, like talk. And I'm explaining once again, the same shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know why I had to say it over and over again. And he just keeps coming back with the most outrageous, like same, he's talking to himself in the same circles. And I don't exactly remember anymore what his statement was that sent me like over the like hill and through the woods. I told him to shut the fuck up. I don't actually, this is something I wrote down because I don't remember stories very well in the moment. Cause he kept saying like, she told me to shut the fuck up. Oh, that really pissed him off. That triggered that man. I don't know that I said, shut the fuck up. I thought I just said, shut up. Like I, just, I mean, I did tell him to shut up, but he looks over at Gerald. His jaw hits the ground. Mind you, he's been nothing but disrespectful to both of us this entire time over moving a car. Right. And starts screaming at Gerald for like, maybe like three minutes about how he, ha- about me like being disrespectful and how rude I am. Right. And then I look at him again. And I say, shut the fuck up. And he lunged towards me to fight me, to, like, to punch me. No. Yes. Gerald then had to step in. Like, he has to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, he doesn't have to, I guess, but like, he's not going to let anyone hit me. And so he like stepped in and said, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the guy's kids saw him do it and they like, like rushed to him to try and like hold him back. To come fight you. Yes, over a car. And. The kids are screaming, like, it's not that deep. Like, like, what's going on? And Gerald's, of course, now, like, irritated at me because I'm about to get him into a fight. But yeah. also, like, you're not going to sit here and be disrespectful to me. Like, I'm not doing anything to you. I was nothing but nice. But like, I don't know why you won't move your fucking car. Yeah, what the fuck? And then, once, like, the, once his kids got him to calm down a little bit, he looks over at Gerald. Mind you, I had accepted what was happening. I was walking down the hill of the driveway. I was done. I was just going to go into the... Airbnb, Gerald will figure out where the car is or we'll leave it right the fuck there and I will run over their grass in the morning. I don't care. And actually, I don't think there was grass for us to drive through. We probably would have just done that and avoided the whole confrontation together. The next words that came out of this man's mouth, I'm not, I'm not not a feminist, but I'm not like, I don't really give a fuck most of the time. Mm-hmm. This turned me into the most radical feminist mm-hmm. in the entire world. Well, I think also... No, 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 what he said. Yeah, well, I think a feminist is just, like, thinking women have equal rights. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe he will just make the word feminist. People put, like, a negative, like, connotation on the word. On it. Mm. Feminist, but being a feminist. At the end of the day, yeah. Equal rights. Okay, well, this was me fighting for that. Yeah. He goes, like, dead. He, like, went silent, like, calm. Like, he, like, got himself together, right? When I saw him do that, I turned around and started walking down the driveway. And he goes... I just want to say to you, to Gerald, it is your job. Oh, no. To keep her in line. It is your job to control her. I went, I did a full 180. (laughs) I walked my ass right back up to that man. I said, I'm assuming one of those women in there. Oh, this is mean, but not really mean. He's a fucking asshole. I said, I'm assuming one of those women in there is your wife. And I feel fucking awful for her that she has to live a life. In which you think that you have a right to fucking control her. Well, clearly he has anger issues, control issues. Well, I was like, I I said, there will never come one moment, inkling of a moment, where any part of my life is dictated by a man. Yeah. Like, that, I, that I'm that i controlled by a man. That Unless it is his job. <laughs> yeah. That it is his job to tell me what to do, tell me how to speak, keep me in line. Like, Absolutely fucking literally not. And then I was just rage heated. I was fucking pissed. The kids are like, we're sorry. Gerald's like, go downstairs. <laughs> and I don't exactly remember how, I think I was just over it. And the guy got in his car, slammed the door, moved his car to the side of the road. Imagine he just did that first thing. Correct. It's not that fucking hard. We go, we drive all the way down to, and go in the garage and we go inside and we were kind of just like sitting there for a second. And then we realized we could hear everything upstairs and they, no, he was calm. He was just more like, I think he was just trying to be like a peacekeeper in the sense and in which I was just immediately annoyed because you're assuming you wouldn't come out there until you saw me get out of the car. And then you're going to be an ass for what? Yeah. 
And I did get my period two days later. So it makes yeah. a little bit of sense why I was so feisty. But Jira was just more like scared and overstimulated. I think not like scared, but like the adrenaline. And he doesn't need to like be, he was really quiet. But they were screaming for hours. Like you, it was like paper thin Like ceilings. they were fighting with each other? No, like he was bitching about how awful we were. But like where they kind of, did it seem like they were telling him like relax? I mean, I didn't hear any other people fighting <laughs> with him. So it was just him like cheering or like for himself he thought it was like the best thing ever and so the next morning so we were getting ready to go to thanksgiving and you would have thought that they were rearranging every piece of furniture they were vacuuming like they had i mean they quite literally it sounded like they each took a chair and were running in circles trying to be as loud as they could thanksgiving yes the morning of i guess they were setting up the table and stuff i'm just playing devil's advocate here for four hours Uh, yeah no not four hours. And they just kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. Mm-hmm. So eventually me and Joe have to leave. We didn't even really care. Like, who cares? Like, it's loud, but what? I was turn the TV on, put music on. We don't give a shit. And we leave to go to Thanksgiving. We realize within five minutes that we forgot something. I mean, the something might have been Piper, Tell the dog. They moved the car. They moved the car back into the park, to park us out. And at that point, we didn't really much care. So... Daryl walked down the driveway. We're not even going to ask them to move the car. We're not getting into that again. And he tries to get in the Airbnb and conveniently, mm -hmm, conveniently, the lock doesn't work anymore. The batteries are gone from the lock. Stop. To the Airbnb in which our dogs are inside. Now that is speculation. They might not have done it, but it did work five minutes ago and now it doesn't work anymore. And he clearly was outside. He moved his car. Yes. And so we then had, I had to message the Airbnb people and be like, hey, like, can you like come like put new batteries in the lock? Like it's not working. Our dogs are in there. So like we have to be able to get in there. Or I mean, I will quite literally, I didn't just say this, but I will break your door down to get my dog out. Like if you're not, easily, they kept trying to say like, well, we won't come out. It's Thanksgiving. I'm like, well, my dogs. Yeah. And so eventually they ended up just like leaving it unlocked. That's all we could do is like have From it. On their phones, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like to have it. No, they had to come out because there's no, no batteries in it. Okay. Like there was nothing to make it like work. I don't, I don't know. But they eventually came out. We weren't there though. And he said that they were, he was able to get it open. He like left it unlocked. Okay. The next night after Thanksgiving, right? We had our whole day. We come back. It's late. We're like, no, it's like nine or 10, but nothing's really open on Thanksgiving. So I had ate my lunch really early and I was tummy grumbling by 9 PM. Right. I ordered like a go puff order what is that it's on it was on doordash or i was on uber eats but they just like bring you it's like i don't really actually have no idea i wish i could explain it to you it could convenience store but like anywhere oh, got it i think i don't know but it's not there's no like storefront i ordered bread peanut butter and jelly and a bag of cool ranch doritos because i love to just lick the seasoning off of them that's so strange i don't like the taste of the dorito chip i just like the cool ranch flavor so I am all ready to eat this. I'm waiting. It never comes. I'm like, oh, that's so weird. And it's one of those ones where on Uber Eats, or I'm sure DoorDash is the same. You can't like contact the person because it's the company that's delivering it. Yeah. So you have to like request like an update, but you never actually get one. And didn't end up coming the whole night. I got a refund, whatever. But That's I waited so hours. I feel like when you want a peanut butter and jelly, you want a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I think I just wanted anything. Yeah, I was starving. I had I had nothing in the house. There was nothing we could have, which is my fault for not just, for not eating more at Thanksgiving. But whatever. And so the next day, I get a message from the Airbnb people with like a picture of the GoPuff order, yeah, like the PB and J stuff, and the text read like the people upstairs said wanted to make sure that you knew that they were thankful that you sent them pb and j stuff like for that you're lying could you imagine being that petty unless like you took the pb and j stuff and was like oh yeah they probably were just being nice and gave it unless unless the doordasher left it on their porch and they thought you sent it as like a peace offering i'm just i'm just saying what they might be thinking so you can you know how petty that is? Yeah. Like, no, the guy's let, a piece of shit. let them know that we said thank you. The guy's a piece of shit. Like, if you were, if you thought it was a gift, you would have came down and said, like, oh, like, yeah. you know. So. No, that guy has control issues. That's bottom line, control issues. 
So that was my... I just imagine you being Gerald in that story, like how pissed at me you would have been. Um, no, I, it's no because like fighting this man because like I can't win. I, I think that's where like I have to learn. Like if I'm gonna start that fight, I have to be willing to try and actually fight, and I can't fight. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I have no problem I- admitting like that person can beat my ass. Yeah. I would lose for sure. Yeah, and like, but that doesn't mean they're right. Just yeah. because someone can win in a physical fight doesn't mean they're right. Although, like, I if feel you're like lower Bryce, to the ground and wider, do you have a better like center of gravity or a worse center of gravity? We have good centers of gravity. Okay, so I have I have a standing. No, place. yeah, it, it's definitely, and I'm not even being kidding. Like, it's always been really hard to like for people to push me over and like stuff like that. There is absolutely no reason for what I'm about to say, but I did just take a bathroom break. Okay. You know, just I've been drinking a lot of fluids. Had to take a little piddle, and I was sitting there. <laughs> I look down. Like, there is no point in what I'm about to say at all. Is this going to be gross? No. Okay. It's just like, I don't get it. Right. Like, I was st- looking down there, or like down there, as in like in between my pants. We get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the only underwear I could find this morning was a thong, which is like a last resort for me. I'm a granny panty all question, day. Every question. Question. Yeah. With a girl or whoever, whatever. Um, what makes you decide today's a thong day no, you, that's what kind of what i'm trying to like got it sorry circle to no i'm ruining the story no and there really isn't a story oh, okay. it's more i was just sitting there and i just have one of those deep grand thoughts as i'm staring at this sliver of fabric and i've been sitting here this whole time so uncomfortable i'm like oh why am i so uncomfy and i'm just staring there at like this little wavy little black it's maybe this thick andrew okay like why for a thong that goes in your ass crack well in your but keep in mind the crack goes all the way to the front so that sucker is sitting in your Hold like wait 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 wait, wait, wait 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 you're telling me there's a crack like hold on hold on wait your pussy crack is one crack to your ass no there's definitely fr- some sort of like no um gully like a, no what is it like hill well there's I mean, different holes no i understand holes but there's got Mom, be- this man doesn't realize what we're talking about because I was sitting on the bathroom and I was looking at my thong and I was like, why do we wear this? Like, why? Why am I putting myself through this pain? Mom, he didn't realize that our crack is one crack. No, no. I think you say it's one crack. I think. Hold on. Sorry. I think you say it's one crack because like it's so close. But there's got to be a little like at, just a little break in the a break in the river. Like, there's no separation, which you get the benefit of the doubt because you're gay. But. It's one big long. So like this tiny little strip of fabric is sitting in the front of my vagina crack too. All the way to the back. And I like guess why I'm do not- we do that? Like what is the benefit? What is the purpose that it's serving? It's doing nothing. Not a single one of them are like enclosed. I guess I'm just missing the punchline because that's what I thought a thong was anyway. Like I thought it just does that. What? Goes in. Right. I'm sitting here saying like, I what's had the, the gag deep- here. Why? I just don't know why we do that. Like who came up with that? Why do we do that? I mean, I'm. I will show you this strip of fabric well, later. I think technically thongs are supposed to be for panty lines, like when you're wearing a dress or something, right? But then wear no undies. Well, no one's holding a gun to your head today on this beautiful what Tuesday, telling you to wear a thong, Samantha. No, but there's no reason for a thong. I'm saying like if you don't want a panty line, go commando. The thong currently, it's doing nothing for me. A it's not trail. keep. It's not keeping no snail trail, not in my pants. Okay, and sir- like my, they have ate, they have munched up the entire thing. Like if, if you saw me from directly below right now, <gasps> you wouldn't know there is a thong. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's the point? Well, <clears throat> I also, by the way, I started this saying there is no point to what I'm about to say. It's like unnecessary, but it's just one of those deep thoughts that I had. I just want to touch back on the whole crack situation. Really quick. I understand. Keep in mind, you told me I was dumber than a sack of rocks earlier. Okay. I understand how close the holes are. Like, I they're get They're not it. that close. Yeah, no, they're way closer than you think. Like, than, like, a gay guy would think. Like, I get that part. I think it's weirder. Like, your butt crack ends. Well, yeah. And it starts somewhere. Like, how does your body just decide where to start the butt crack? It's like an on-ramp. What? Like an on and off ramp on the expressway. Kind of just gradual. Okay, well, I guess that's how my front is and my back. It's like slow down. But listen, I understand how close the holes are. I get it. I get that. But I just thought that, and I understand that like when looking at the crack from that angle, like let's say I'm giving birth to someone. Well, you know what I mean? Helping someone give birth. I'm looking at them from that angle. 
I understand that there's a general trench. But I just thought that maybe it was less. It's not World War One. Oh, I just thought that. Okay, trenches in the ocean at the bottom of the ocean. A trench. They fought in trenches in World War One. You're also correct. Okay. I just thought that the trench was less deep in certain spots. No, it's one large, long Mariana Can trench. Can you show me? Can I show you? I'm just... Like, if you were to look at me from straight on, I'm, like, standing like this, and you saw the little, like, line at the front of my bahine, if you, like, look under the fupa, you know? That line is the same line that you're looking at at the top of my butt crack. Is that the same for, like... Everyone okay. that has a vagina. Okay. There are people who, like, have to get their colon removed... We, and their butthole removed, like, because you're sick and they get to surgery, like, like, you have colon cancer or something. And they sometimes sew your butt crack up, so you don't have a butt crack anymore. Yeah, they reverse it, and, the, and then, like, um... So they might, I guess I'm saying, like, they could have a vagina and no butt crack. You, like, shit out of your pussy. Oh. You have a colonoscopy bay. No, 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 I, I think I... colonoscopy bay. I had a relative, I won't say, who had a friend who shit out of their pussy. That is not true. I, mean, I don't know how that would happen. That wouldn't be it. They would not reroute your shit to your pussy. I had to be dreaming, right? Because yes. that sounds crazy when you yeah. say it. I've had people who, or there was somebody in the town that I grew up in. This has always astounded me. And I knew that, like, this is actually the first time I learned that, like, as humans, we truly think different. Like, our minds are must be so different. Because he found out that he had early, early, early stages of pre of a cancer, mm -hmm. right? Like completely survivable, like would be fine. If you, the only thing he had to do was get his colon removed. They caught it. It was in the colon. That's all he had to do. But he would have had to have a colostomy bag for the rest of his life. Yeah. He chose to not go have any treatment and die. Wow. Then have a colostomy bag. And I've never understood why people, obviously I wouldn't, be excited about it. No. But that was the first time I realized. And like you get used to it, I'm sure. Well, yeah. I mean, I know so many people who I've watched their stories where the colostomy bag saves their life. Yeah. And we're like, also. We're like, I can, they get their life back by having the bag. They're not in pain anymore. And we're also not talking about it like, oh, that's easy. Like, no. we're just saying it's like normalizing. Like, well, yeah. I'm saying like, to me, it's like, that's when I learned that some people would rather literally die than have to like change like they'll have their life change like have something about their body change like yeah. have to like adapt to something new that reminds me did you see that beauty guru i don't know their name it's a guy and i think oh my gosh i might be forgetting or maybe there's multiple i think he has no limbs and he's like oh yeah makeup yeah so good and does it amazing yes. i think we're friends on tiktok I think you're are you about what i'm thinking about yeah so good at it I don't know how, how they do it. I also have seen a girl who had meningitis and she lost her arms and legs and she's so good at it too. Meningi My dad had meningitis, really? Well, you can meningitis can be really scary. Yeah, bacterial it Yeah, you can die and lose your Yeah, legs. he so there's viral and bacterial. The bacterial is the bad one. I think so. His wound up being viral. Okay, that's but it was still really bad, bad, but he just but yeah. he's still here. We no, love the things love that people can do and like the way that humans can adapt and like go through things that either like change the way their body looks or works or or born that way and the things that they can do it just shows you that you can literally do anything yes. you can make anything possible like it might seem like the end, at the end of the world right now but like if you really just I don't know. and not even trying to be cheesy but like how strong yes. those people are for like do you know how many people like if they lost all their limbs or whatever like would just like me i don't know what i would do yeah same uh, they're so they're better at makeup than me. a viral beauty guru yeah and amazing at it i think of that girl who was in a uh, she was in a cheerleading accident. Um, she seems so sweet, but she became a quadriplegic. Oh. And her attitude's better than mine. Yeah. And I, it's just so inspiring sometimes. And then it just makes us look like pieces of shit. Yeah, no, I'm complaining about, like, stupid shit. Like, yeah. my belly is a little bigger today than it was yesterday. How did we get that deep? I don't know. We're not going to talk to you guys until 2024. Which is... That's weird. 2024 seems like future. It, that really does seem like future. It really does. Like the fact that Zach and Cody already had their reservation I, for the restaurant. Never seen. What? I've never watched Disney Channel. You know that. I, was, I, I probably should know that if I was a good friend. That's but. an issue, though. That's an issue. I, I wasn't a Disney Channel kid, and I would have loved the shows. I just, I never pressed that channel up button. It was always channel 34, and Nickelodeon was 33. Cartoon Network was 32. I guess I only pressed down. You watch Cartoon Network? Oh, 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 last resort. Oh, okay. Last resort. I was, but I was diehard Nickelodeon. Okay. I mean, I liked both. Yeah. I well, I would have, 
I would have loved oh, Sweet Life geez. and Hannah Montana, all that yeah, stuff. Well, you can watch Hannah Montana. Yeah, but you know, it just doesn't. So it, it definitely hits the same for you because it's nostalgic. But I think if I watch it now, it's just like maybe we'll watch it together. Okay, and then we'll see what your opinion is. Maybe like your your nostalgia will like yeah trickle down. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know, like I'll make you feel it. Yeah, like a little tinkle. It just looks like I'm a. I'm going to be really honest. If you're watching the podcast visually, I am looking at the camera screen right now. It looks like I'm so fucking conceited. Conceited? Uh, that I sit next to my million subscriber pie. No, I think pride, being proud and conceited are different. But like, I didn't, it's not intentional that I'm like, yeah. like right now I'm off center to make room for the plaque to have its full LOL. moment. Anyways. What's one thing you didn't post about this year that happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. Do you not want to talk about it? It makes me so. Sick we could just you stomach. could just say it, and we could just move on to the next. Thing. I ran over someone's dog. Yeah. Oh, that no 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 no. I, I can't leave it at that because that makes it seem like I just ran someone's dog over. I'll <laughs> say it just so, in no way you say it can be misinterpreted. <laughs> interpreted because when I tell you, I'll I, set the scene and you tell them what happened. Yeah. Right. What'd you say? I'll set the scene yeah, and you can ahead. tell them what happened. Yeah. So. I'm from Wisconsin and I don't like hurricanes. So I left for the hurricane. I was told to evacuate. I was in an evacuation zone. So we had to leave. Okay. That's what's happening. And it was like a very last minute. Like, yes, it, the hurricane took a turn. She had to evacuate last minute. She had Gerald's dog, her dog, her two cats, everything. There was so much traffic. Both highways were turned like one direction. It was crazy. Yeah, it was just not it. And so I had to go to Tampa to pick up Piper, which is Duncan's dog. No, <laughs> which is Gerald's dog. A lot of people get confused as to when I got a Rottweiler. That's just my boyfriend's dog, which means she's my dog. And so I had to go pick her up from Gerald's house. So I was leaving to go to Fort Lauderdale from Tampa. And there are so many things that could have had me not on the road at this exact time. But I had like stopped an extra time to get more cat food. I stopped made a million little stops I didn't have to make just so I would be good for the road. <clears throat> and so I had just gotten, I just finished at the store. I got in my car and I got onto the highway and I like barely was just gotten onto the highway. I was in the flow of traffic. We were going maybe like 75, 80. Keep that in mind. Yeah. And I was in the farthest left lane and there was a car that was in the middle lane probably like three car lengths ahead of me, which when you're going 80 miles an hour is not that far. Mm -hmm, yeah. <sighs> Do you want to keep going or? I'll go up until the event and then you can take over because I black out. <clears throat> and I'm sitting there just vibing, talking to Gerald. And I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen a plastic bag. Maybe we shouldn't go into detail like that though. Maybe people won't want to hear like that detail. Well, that's why I didn't think anything of it. You wouldn't have been able to stop either way, though. I mean, I guess. I just thought I saw, like, a bag flying, okay? Yeah. And it happened so fast. Yeah. And... You wouldn't have been able to stop. You had all your animals in the car. They would have gone through your windshield. Like... Well, yeah. I, I know now that it, like, nothing I could have done yeah. in this situation differently. It was that... It was me either, like, risk everyone in my car and my, like, animals. Sam, you couldn't have stopped. I know. You know. Yeah, it's fine. And so I was just, whatever, we're chilling. I see it. I am listening to something that Gerald's saying. And I, right, 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 right before I, like, made contact, I was able to, like, see what it was. Yeah. Because, I mean, I mean, this all, by the way, like, this happened in, like, 0.5 seconds. I was able to process it and, like, see what it was and it like laying there and yeah what I, we won't go into detail I mean, you can probably guess we won't go into detail because like it's just terrible and if you guys don't know i'm sure you do but me and sam are probably the biggest dog and animal lovers on this planet my screen name growing up was animal lover oh. like i we are just the biggest animal lovers she called me I, my, this happened while I was on the phone with my boyfriend. And I just sat there in silence, like in awe. Yeah, I literally thought like Mama Kelly died. Yeah. Like I was so, I was like, what I was She couldn't even sobbing. get sobbing. She was sobbing. She sat there for like two hours, like crying. I was like, Sam, the hurricane, the category five hurricane is coming. You got to go. Like I just felt so sick to my stomach. And like, I knew that it wasn't my fault, but I had seen the owners, like whoever it was, 
their whoever's dog it was i saw them like pull off to the side of the yeah. road and like they were obviously going to get out of their car and i just kept picturing like myself in that situation mm-hmm. like as humans, we never want to take responsibility or like guilt for thi- like we don't want to have to feel the guilt for something. And so it's easier to blame other people. And so like I know that they were sitting there like so upset probably at me for being the one that like did it. But I mean, it would have whoever would have been behind me it would have happened. Yeah. I'm sure the car behind me like had maybe done it too. Like, anyway. Wh- well, it's it's a learning lesson as, as hard as it is to hear like. People think, okay, yeah, that your dog likes to stick your head out the head out the window. That's what I, yeah. You can't, like, you cannot have, your, even if your dog is fully harnessed into your car, going that fast, like, if they were to jump out, like, they would, they could slip out of the harness. Like, there is so much. Granted, Sam was going to talk about it when it happened, but then, like, things just kept I think I ha- mentioned it in a vlog, but. Yeah, things just kept happening where she never got around to it, and then she was like, you know what, maybe it's just better not. But she really wanted to bring awareness to the fact that, like, guys, Please be careful with your dogs. Don't roll the windows all the way down. It's not worth it. Like, and it's traumatizing. I get that they obviously had the worst of it because they lost their dog. But like, I just sat there and was crying for days and weeks about how I don't deserve to have animals anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, how I'm and, like uh, so yeah, terrible like, because I'm like just a cute little dog. But if I had to say probably the worst thing that happened this year, that's got to be top three. Yeah, essentially, all I want to say is. As much as they like having their head out the window, please don't let them do that for the sake of you and the person behind you. Um, any New Year's resolutions or goals from this year that failed? <laughs> we all know. Whatever. I'm so weird about the whole New Year's stuff. I think everyone uses it as an excuse to set goals. And I'm going to be that person this year. I'm going to actually like, write out goals. But it is still cringe. Yeah, like, we that's... could just like set goals at any time of the year. We don't have to only do it for New Year's. And like New Year's resolutions... I want to know the percent of people that actually follow through with that because that's like me telling myself I'm going to make healthy meals all week. Like it sounds good in the moment yeah. until I wake up and I'm like, mm, never mind. Exactly. Actually not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I just think like maybe we can like work on setting like little goals like all throughout the year. And then you feel like you're always accomplishing something. It's not like you have to shame yourself when you don't accomplish something that maybe it's not what you want to do anymore. Yeah. You grow as the year goes on. We don't realize things that we can improve sometimes. So can you guys leave mm-hmm. down below like some New Year's resolutions that aren't like lose weight? Like <laughs> uh, unless that is yours, then leave it because I also want to hear what you guys are into this next this upcoming year. Yeah, what are your resolutions? But can you leave your resolutions down below? Because like I would like to pick and choose and be like, oh, you know what? Maybe I can do that. Yeah, that does seem like attainable. And also um, this, I guess, portion of the podcast, like the, the whole fir- the first 10 episodes to us it's like like, pilot yeah to us it's like season one there are no seasons but yeah this was like season one working at the kinks when we come back hopefully we'll have a set or our set will be being built by us yeah literally (laughs) um we're gonna have lighting it's gonna be a lot more i'm gonna rent a house and we're gonna have like a legit room that's just for the podcast we're gonna decorate it chairs just like us we'll black out the windows that way the lighting is always the same and we want it to be good for you like we do care what the quality what we're putting yeah it'll be a lot more professional so if you guys have any uh, constructive criticism like little things that we could tweak here and there uh, can you just also leave those in the comments down yep. below? Because obviously you guys are our viewers. And, and y'all are as indecisive. I, as much as I tell you guys to shut up. We love it's you. It's in a, like, I love you guys type of way. And Because um, half of you say that you like when we just ramble and, like, touch on advice stuff sometimes. But then the other half of you say that you want it to be deeper. But then the other half says that if we get deep too much, then you won't, wouldn't want to watch it. In reality, guys, what this podcast is going to be, and I don't want to get into this, but it's just going to be two best friends getting together talking, and mm-hmm. sometimes we'll have a brief and go over the brief, and sometimes we'll just... Let the ADHD shit. take us where it wants yeah, to go. Yeah, so that's kind of what it is, but if you guys do have little like tweaks and little constructive criticisms... We can handle it. Leave them down below. Maybe like tell them to Andrew. He'll like nicely tell them to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, last thing, if you guys are listening to this on a streaming platform that isn't YouTube, please give it a five-star rating. Give it a Mm -hmm. review. Go over to YouTube. Just click it. Watch it for a couple minutes. Maybe. maybe Subscribe. We hit 20K. Yes. Thank you, guys. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. Do all of that. And if you guys haven't watched any previous episodes, go watch them because I think they're all bangers. They are so good. Um, I cannot tell you guys what a dream it was for us to have a podcast and this year that we were finally able to do it because actually it was in our drunk, um, our drinking challenge. What was it? Our truth or drink challenge we did in your apartment in 2021, like 
April of 2021. Really? We came up. We were like, oh, we should do a podcast. And you were like, oh, we should. And I was like, guys, you heard it here first. Sam said she'll do a podcast with me. Here we are. And all it took me moving to Florida. And then that year, we filmed five episodes uh-huh. Five episodes of a podcast. Maybe four. four. Uh, we never posted it. So it's been Thank such- God we didn't, though, because it wouldn't have been this. Yeah, it's been such a dream. And we want to thank you guys so much for actually making it a podcast. Like listening. I know. Like I, wouldn't, I wouldn't feel good about it if it wasn't, you know, resonating with you guys. And yeah. If I just felt like I was talking to myself. But you guys are so engaging Mm -hmm. and it means the world to us so we want to thank you guys so much for that and we cannot wait for us all to just blow up in 2024 and if we could go on like a podcast tour i guess like meet you guys yeah and you guys we might don't tell anyone this but we might go on a little like other type of podcast tour where we go on like other people's podcasts and have them on ours oh yeah like recommend people yeah you'd recommend people you would want on our podcast down below anyway um happy new year we love you guys so much thank you for watching and we will be back in two or three weeks i don't know we'll see you in a year we'll We'll, see you next year well that's like a measurement of time yeah next year yeah we'll see you next year bye toodles ew i cannot end it on oh you meowed that was way worse than my toodles no but that's because harlow meowed in the last episode we posted when the at the the very last second we went you said bye what the comments were about and then she went meow Meow. Okay, no. Bye. Meow. <laughs>